Alrighty, welcome back to another one of my short Skyblock speedruns. In today's video, I ended up speedrunning for Mining 15, but this speedrun was actually just for any level 15 skill of your choice. This does of course exclude the cosmetic skills, as they do behave quite differently in comparison to the main skills that actually affect your profile. Also, a quick announcement here for the start of the video, but I finally ended up getting a proper speedrun timer. It only took me like 3 episodes of this series without it, but now you guys can roughly see how long everything took me in the edited video, and not just whenever I mention it in the voiceover. However, before we do start this run, I would like to say that I did stream the entirety of this live over on my Twitch, so if you'd like to see the full process of how these speedruns are actually complete, the links are down in the description below. But with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. Hopping onto a new profile here, the first step for this run was actually to grab an oak log before I made my way to the hub. I was going to craft my own tools for this particular speedrun, which would require me to grab some sticks at some point in this run. Luckily for me, wood is ever so conveniently placed right on the starter island, and with that secured and out of the way, the next step was to collect our rogue sword. With that added to our inventory, I made my way over to the hub selector, and found a private lobby where I could properly start the speedrun. For this run, I wasn't going to need many coins at all, but I was definitely going to need farming 5 at least. Now you may be wondering, wait, farming 5 in a mining 15 speedrun? That doesn't make any sense at all. Well actually, there's a very simple trick that you can do using the Mushroom Desert to level up your early game mining. You see, as the sand on the farming islands actually gives mining XP and can also be broken with as little as an efficiency 2 golden shovel, this makes mining sand an extremely attractive option for early game mining, and because the end goal was only mining 15, it made sense to try out this strategy. The best part about this trick is that it's not only super cheap to do, very easy to achieve when you're on a time limit, but it's also just a super easy and low effort strategy, making our run not only efficient, but effortless and something to actually look forward to. But anyways, after achieving farming 5 with just under a minute 30 on the clock, I made my way over to the mining merchant to sell my freshly harvested goods. After quickly cleaning out my inventory, I was left with a nice sum of just over a thousand coins in my purse. This was going to be more than enough to buy the efficiency 2 for my shovel, and I knew that I was almost ready to actually start mining. I headed straight for the librarian, but ended up buying all 16 efficiency books, because at the time, I completely forgot that I only needed efficiency 2 and thought that I was going to go for efficiency. 5. But that's okay, I wasn't really going to need any of the coins for this run anyways, so I just put efficiency 2 on my shovel after a viewer actually pointed out my error, and then I ended up just selling all the rest of the materials in my inventory except for the rogue sword and the shovel, so that way I could actually prepare for the long awaited mining journey. And with all the preparation officially complete and ready to go, I set off to get to the barn as quick as I could. Now I'm well aware that I could just skip all of this running and cut down on the time it takes for me to get to the mushroom desert dramatically, however, the only realistic way that I could do that is by either visiting Portal Hub or PRTL, which I would consider as cheating because you are using another player's help for your own benefit. Now because of this, in any of the runs where I will actually need to travel across different islands, I will continue to just do all of them on foot to ensure the runs are as fair as possible. Needless to say though, I made it to the Mushroom Desert well under 4 minutes into this run, where I immediately started mining sand to begin the long awaited journey. I knew this was going to take a long time, and at first I was actually heavily considering going for mining 20, but you'll see later as to why the run only turned into a mining 15 speedrun. The first few level ups were actually really easy, I was unlocking so many different items in the sand collection and by 4 minutes 15 I had already unlocked mining 5. As simple as this task seems, I actually had somewhat of a strategy to be able to mine the sand as efficiently as possible. I made sure to make a zigzag motion with my head whilst holding down the left mouse button because if I ran in a straight line I significantly decreased the amount of sand I was mining per second, which of course we wanted to maximize as much as possible. I was also doing my best to try to avoid as many people as I could by just weaving in and out between them, though at the start of the run the lobby was relatively empty anyways so that wasn't really that much of a big deal. At least, that's what I thought. The run was pretty smooth sailing until I reached around mining level 10, where at first I thought, ah oh yeah, this should be roughly the halfway mark until mining 15. Though with just under 8 minutes on the clock, I was very, very wrong. Not only did I have just under 2 thirds of the run left to go, but this was the point where I started to have some slight problems with the people in my lobby. You see, if you couldn't tell already, my shovel doesn't have telekinesis. 
Now this draws an absurd amount of attention to me, because since I wasn't actually picking up any of the sand that I was mining, other people saw this as an opportunity to try and squeeze in those extra bit of coins, and they started to actually take all of my sand. Now originally, I was totally fine with this. Getting telekinesis would have been a huge waste of time, and I wasn't going to need my sand anyways, and even when my inventory was full, the enchantment wouldn't have actually worked either way. But there was this one guy, this one guy who just wouldn't leave me alone. And everywhere that I went, he just kept on circling me and getting in my way, slowing down the efficiency of this run. At this point in the run, I was starting to get pretty annoyed. At first, I thought the player was actually sniping me, but it wasn't until afterwards and long into the stream that I realized he didn't actually know that I was doing a challenge, and I also had no real way of communicating that towards him, considering that I was trying to be as quick as possible. I did reach mining level 11 in the midst of this though, which I guess was a bonus, and one of my viewers also offered to warp out the player in an attempt to make my life a lot easier. Usually warping people out is pretty toxic, and I would never advise to do such a thing, but the guy was in 3 quarters shadow assassin, and I was already confused as to what he was gaining from just digging sand, and more specifically, taking the sand that I was digging, so I figured it'd be pretty funny if he actually did get warped out, and either way, he could've just found a separate desert lobby anyways, and just carried on elsewhere. All in all, I didn't see it as a particularly harmful thing, and after a little while, this ended up happening. Oh my god, is he gonna get warped out, guys? No way, no way. Renowned without the E. Ren renowned without the E, bro. See, look, look, look. Oh, he's gone! He's gone! <laughs> <laughs> that is legendary. That is legendary, bro. Man, is just picking up on my sand. And Dave is like, what's his username? I'll warp him out. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Oh, that is that is godly. That is godly. Oh, my God. that's so toxic, bro. <laughs> no, he's back. He's back. No, no, he's back. How did he get in my lobby? How did he get in my lobby again? No, no, he's back in my lobby. He's back in my lobby. No, <laughs> that's amazing, bro. That's amazing. Oh my God. And as you saw there, despite the efforts of me trying to get this man out of my way, he ended up back in my lobby after being warped out as I continued on with the rest of my run. I'm sure he didn't mean any harm considering that doing a speedrun challenge like the one that I was doing was a little bit unconventional, so you couldn't really blame him for doing anything wrong. Later on in the stream, he also ended up joining one of the mining parties that I did end up hosting, and it all seemed to be in good fun, so nobody was really affected with that whole little ordeal. Regardless, it wasn't until I was over 50 minutes into the run that I realized that I had so much desert to run around in, so I tried to progress deeper into the island, hoping that I wouldn't get followed. It worked mostly well, and the grind for mining levels 12 and 13 were pretty easy, which I managed to achieve with just over 16 minutes on the clock. This was the point in time that I had realized that a mining 20 speedrun would have needed an entirely different approach. I was nearing the 20 minute mark already, and getting to mining 14 was going to take an immense amount of effort, as I would have had to mine an extra 15,000 sand blocks on top of the ones that I had already mined. Not to mention that I would also have to mine another 20,000 sand blocks on top of that to go from mining 14 to 15, and it wasn't until midway through the run that I was told that the amount of sand that I was going to have to mine for mining 20 would have been approximately 580,000 blocks, which if you aren't aware already is completely absurd for any logical speed run. Adding the fact that I was also constantly dropping sand everywhere and I had people getting in my way on top of a potential lobby reset and so many other factors, and they have a pretty unlikely and very tedious speedrun idea, so I just settled for mining 15. Speaking of which, after reaching a little over 22 minutes and 15 seconds on the timer, I had finally reached mining 14, only 20,000 more sand blocks to go until our final goal. The last 20,000 blocks were honestly probably the easiest to collect of the entire run. All in all, I continued to grind to collect all the sand I could, and now that I had all the neat little tricks up my sleeve, I could safely say that I was pretty well optimized at this point in time. I had developed some sort of cyclic loop, which consisted of me going from the main front entrance of the Mushroom Desert, up towards the Shepherd's Keep, circling around to the edge of the island, and then back towards the front entrance again, to only continue to repeat the cycle for more XP. At this point, I'm pretty sure one of my viewers actually managed to talk to the player from earlier, and they asked him to not get in my way, so being able to mine uninterrupted was extremely helpful, and definitely contributed to the ease of this run. Needless to say though, it only took me around 7.5 minutes until I finally ended up reaching the long-awaited mining 15. 
All right, we're almost... We got it. Time, 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 time. No way, no way. No way, 29.59. Bro, I was almost 30 minutes. Almost 30 minutes. Sub 30. Sub 30, bro. Sub 30. Guys, you want to see how mature I am? Let me show you how mature I am. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. GG's, GG's. No way, no way, no way. And just like that, the run was officially complete. My final time for this speedrun was 29 minutes, 59 seconds, and four hundredths of a second, which was super cool as I was just barely under the 30 minute mark. Now, if you've seen one of these videos before, you'll know by now that it was time to transfer both the golden shovel and one of my enchanted sand blocks I crafted over to my main profile. Here, I'll be able to give it away to one of the lucky viewers who will end up keeping it, as keeping my speedrun items for myself is a little bit boring, and I always like to give back to you guys. But, the run was now over, the items were safely stored on my main profile's island, and the last step from here was to say our final goodbyes to the speedrun profile, and delete it to never be seen again. And with all that being said, that is going to wrap up everything that I did have for today's video. The speedrun, like all the ones that I have recorded so far, was really fun to actually do. I haven't actually speedrun for any kind of skill beforehand, and most of my speedruns have all been materialistic, or I actually shot for a specific item. It was pretty fun to do something a little bit different for a change here, and going for a level 15 skill was pretty good overall, and also just a nice little challenge. And hopefully you guys did find this video just as entertaining as I did recording it. However, before I go ahead and end this video off here, I would like to quickly mention that the person that did get warped out of the lobby somewhere in the middle of the speedrun was completely fine with it and it was okay all after the fact. As I said before, they actually joined the mining party and they did say that they had no idea that I was going for a speedrun and all was well and good and yada yada yada. So I'd like to just clarify that here in the video just to make sure I don't get any angry comments saying that I'm a terrible human being because I've warped someone out of a lobby and it's a terrible thing to be doing when in reality it was all just a joke, it was all in good fun. And like I said, either way, it was one of my viewers who offered that he was just sort of mucking around and being silly. So all in all, it was just a joke and there was nothing really serious there. But either way, that is everything that I did have for today's video. If you did like it, then please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. As I do these speed runs roughly every week now and I have been incorporating them to my main style of content. And also, if you have any further ideas for certain speed runs that I should do in the future, you can always leave them in the comments below. But... With all that being said, that is going to wrap up everything that I had for today's video. And as always, take care and peace. Um, you sold your turn for like 10 coins? Yeah, me too. I actually sold my um, baby.